Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to use Tripwire in EVE Online. This is going to be quite a quick tutorial going over how to use the interface and how to bookmark and map using a system I think works pretty well. So if we start off by going over the interface, on the top left here, let me just say actually, yours might not look exactly like this. This is a little bit customised, you can fiddle around with it, but um, for the most part it will have this general layout if a bit squished. But for the start for starters anyway, we've got the stats on the top left here. Not too too useful in wormhole space since CCP disabled the API for that. So it's actually always going to show zero jumps, zero ship kills and such. Uh, just below that down here we've got your actual statics. So this hole in particular, J151530, has a C5H296 static. And on the right you've just got, you know, your dot line link, Z killboard link and such. Uh, middle of the screen you've got your SIG window. You're going to see how that works in a minute, but it's very, very important and it's going to be where you're pasting and editing all of the SIGs that you scan out. On the right you've got your notes as well. That's just something that's going to be consistent on the mask, so if you're mapping on the corp mask and you fill in, say, you know, there's a, in this case a, a has vacancies, no vacancies, Astra has, then it'll appear in there and anyone who clicks on the system is going to see those notes. As you can see for foxholers, I used it to describe the bookmarking system, log caps that were out of home and needed getting back in, and just a very, very brief guide on how to use Tripwire just so I didn't have to keep explaining it step by step. Below all that you've got your actual chain view. So in this case in J151530 it's just a root node. Literally just a system that you start in, nothing scanned out at all. So it's just going to show us that system. When you start out you're probably just going to see Jita here and that's not going to be too useful at all. So you're going to need to make a new tab to do that, to move on from there. So what I've done, if I just make a new tab, let's call it Tutorial. Now that top name there can be whatever you want, you can call that Inferno or Target if you like in some cases. And what I've done is I've gotten myself into a hole here, J115448, so I'm just going to fill that in. I want to include the Eve's Cart Thera chain just in case we've run into it, that will automatically fill out Thera for me. And click OK. So up here, it's made me another tutorial tab. If I jump over to that and click on it, that'll just set that as my active system. So what we can do now actually is we can go ahead and, uh, and scan things out. So if you have a look in Evia, I have actually already scanned out this system. Weirdly enough, we've actually just got four wormholes, but that's pretty convenient for the purposes of what we're doing here. Just select all, Control A, Control C, you're all familiar with that. And if you look on the bottom left, I'm just going to paste that in. And what you'll see there, actually, you might have noticed on the top right here, we have a click to delete missing SIGs. It only shows up when you actually paste them. So if I paste again, it's going to do the same thing again. And I want to explain that pretty soon because that's going to be very important. So if, say, for example, let's go back in game. Let's just ignore that sig, ignore that sig. Let's just pretend they've they've disappeared. They've gone EOL, well, they've popped, they've been rolled, whatever. You, you know, you've just seen something disappear after you scan, but you don't know what. What you do, just jump back in here, Control c jump back to Tripwire, Control v and let's just hit that button there, and there we go, you can see that's actually just going to go ahead and remove the wormholes. Now because wormholes are tied to SIGs in this, they're not separate like in Vippy and Ziggy and such. When you delete a SIG that is a wormhole, it will delete the actual wormhole from the chain. Now that won't mean it's gone, it'll just mean that it's been disconnected. If you were to reconnect it up again through Control z for example, I just undid that there, that will populate the rest of the chain back down as you had it before. Now if you're wondering why it's not filled it in properly and we've not got the wormholes down here, it's only because we didn't fill in all the information up here and it's essentially an uncompleted SIG, so undoing it tends to have weird results. That's something that's going to be fixed in the upcoming update, but to be honest it's a bit of a minor bug. 
So for now what we're going to do is we're going to just jump up here, just clear the ignored results and paste those back into Tripwire to get things how we want them again. And you can always do that, you can always just copy and paste things into Tripwire. It's a good thing to do by habit if you want to just check systems that were scanned maybe five hours ago. You might find things have changed and you can quickly see that way. So something else I've done here, if we just jump back into Tripwire. If you look at the top here, I have actually sorted by ID of SIG, so DNB, NPJ, RKA and RTX in order. And back in EVE, I've done exactly the same thing. And that makes it quite easy when you've, you know, you've got, say, 20 SIGs in a system. It makes it easy to actually see which one you're working on. So we'll start off with, with one. We'll walk okay. to DNB and see where that takes us. I should note as well, I'm not going to be using auto mapping here. That is a possibility, but for now I'll show you how to do it the manual way. And as we can see, we've got what well, we've got a KML 62. Looks like just a C2 there actually, not a C3. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Tripwire here. I'll just bring that up again. So what I've done there actually is I've just double clicked on the SIG. Brings me up the Edit SIG window. Just tab twice or you can click on it. And I'm going to type in K160. And well, we don't know anything about it. So we could just leave it blank. It'll leave it as a K162 there. But what I like to do, if you know what it's going to be, is write it down as class hyphen two. And there we go. That's going to fill it in as a C2. If that was instead, for example, a uh, low sec, you could do low hyphen sec. Except you could actually write it properly. There we go. And it fills it in as a low sec KR60. But let's just turn that back to a class 2 anyway. And because we know what it is, we're going to go ahead and use this bookmarking scheme. Just flash that up on screen there. And we're going to go in game and bookmark it according to Tripwire. Now, if we pretend this tutorial system is our home, what we're going to do is we're going to go save location, obviously, and bookmark it as a 1 out, so 1 0. It's going to be a C2, and then, as you see, we've got a K162. So that's the bookmark. One out, C1, K162. And before we get any complaints, you can shorten that. You can make it, say, a 1, 2, K162. You could do that. That's an easy way of doing it. But for starters, that's what we're going to do. So that's saved. There we go. Let's move on to the next one. Warp drive active. we've got another K162 straight away. Looking at that we can see it's a high sec. So what we'll do is we'll do the exact same thing again, just jump back to Tripwire, fill it in as another K162, and this time we know it's high sec, so high hyphen sec. There we go. Now what it's done here actually is it's shown it up as a K162 and that's just something I've enabled in my settings here. So if I go up to the Cogwin wheels up here and go down to, it was preferences, I've set the chain type format to a space and then a two. And now that's something we did back in Laserhawks. But what that essentially means is that for each K162 that you get, it'll be K162, 2, K162, 3, and so on. And you, what you could do, I think you can do it as a B. There we go, you can have K162B if you wanted. And then it will obviously do K162C and D and so on. But this is the way I quite like to do it, so we're going to keep it like that. And just bookmark this again according to Tripwire. Just do it exactly as Tripwire is. It's a one out HS K162 space 2. And I'll just show you that in game right there. Submit that. There we go. Let's move on to our next hole. Warp drive active. And as you get good at this, you can, you know, you can just kind of start filling in tripwire as you go along. So you can be scanning out one SIG and you'll be filling in tripwire as you go. Right, let me 
go, we've got another one, we've got an N968, looks like a C3 I think. But we've actually got the code, so Tripwire is going to tell us straight away what that is. Same process as before. Double click on that, and actually this time fill it in as N968. And there we go, that's going to say C3 right there, so we do know what it is. So we're going to save location in game, and again, one out, C3 for the class, and N968 instead of K162. Let's just do the last one as well while we're at it, and then we'll jump on. Right, so a bit of a jump cut there. I've just gone ahead and warped to the next wormhole, bookmarked it, and as you can see it's a low sec U210. I've got all my bookmarks, and what I'm going to do now is... Let's pretend I'm looking for a good case face, so I'm going to go ahead and jump it. Right, so it's charge leg, and I'll just show you the bookmarking that you want to be doing ASAP straight away. Very, very similar to the shackle bookmarking already, but this time I like to throw in a number. So in this case, asterisk one in, or one I even. And that just means, you know, one jump back home. If I scan out from here and then have another wormhole back, it's going to be a 2i. And that just tells you how many jumps away you are from home. You can just count them inwards. But anyway, let's fill this in on Tripwire. If we just jump back in here, we're going to go ahead and double click on the U210. And because I've got character tracking on, I'm going to click A here and it will fill in charge leg for me. But you can obviously just type that if you wanted. You could type out any system in there. So I'll save that and you'll see it fills out charge leg. And actually at the top we do have stats now as you can see. To do is always to fill in the actual SIGs. To paste the blank SIGs in, you might as well have them. We do have the extra duplicate one, but I'll show you how to deal with those in a bit. And also ignore the fact that we do have a second charge leg here, that's that's for good reason. Alright, jumping again, we're now in the high set connection. I walked to the K1622, jumped it, and I'm just about to fill it on Tripwire. You can see it's GID in domain, so we're going to pop that in there. And you can see Tripwire's tracked me there as well. If I actually show you on the Tripwire window, that tooltip shows that we've shown it in a Helios, and it should show that for the rest of the corp as well. So you should see, you know, where your your guys are, similar to Vippy, similar to, you know, any mapper out there. And I'm going to show you two features here. If I just make sure that in's bookmarked as asterisk one i First one is when I just select that system, I'm just going to go ahead and paste the SIGs in. And again, you know, we've got this duplicate one. I already know there's only one wormhole in here because I've already scanned this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in our, you know, our original SIG, our SIG that links back to the previous hole, as FVW, because that's the one that I would have scanned out and would have been our return hole. And we know the type from this side as well, actually. We know it's an X702, so we're going to pop that in Tripwire 2 just to give us more information. And we're going to click on Overwrite, which is going to kill off that extra signature we pasted. And when we save it, it's just going to fix everything up. So there's our return signature. Now the other key feature I wanted to show you was um, it was just how Tripwire tracks exits and such. Now what I've done is it's a very small button here, but you have to press it. It's Add Viewing System to Chain. And what that does is it's going to show me for any high sec that I have selected at that time how many jumps that is from any other connection and chain. I should have said any case space actually. So you can see because I've got GID selected here and I also have another low sec in the chain there, it's telling me this is 10 jumps to GID. Which is pretty useful if you want to see the distance between two holes on the chain. Let's say you've just gone through and you've not realised you're trying to get a battleship through a C1 so you've got to get back out and you want to see what the fastest route to another hole is. But it can be also used to find a target. So let's say we're going to look for the system CAT. So I'm just searching in the top left here. So this is that active system. You want to go to CAT, you can see, oh hey, charge your legs, my best bet. That's only 13 jumps instead of 18. And obviously, if you've got a big chain, you know, if you've got 
10 to 20 k space connections in your chain it's going to show you this on every single one and you can just look through and see which one is your fastest route in addition to that you can actually use this as a market hub finder using the favorite system now the way that works is if we say look for Jita that's going to tell us a distance a distance to Jita but what I've done is I've set it as a favorite up here it's that little star there and what that means is that when I click on this add favorite systems to chain button it's going to then display us with all of our favorite systems off of all of our case based connections and I'll show you how that works if I just select our home again we're going to click on add favorite systems to Jane and I've got all of the market ups on here now I won't lie that gets a bit messy when you've got a massive massive chain but that's kind of my fault for wanting five favorite systems and it'll just show you the distance to every single system here and as you can see you know if we wanted just any old market hub we can actually get to a Mars six jumps from both of our exits. Okay, so moving on, we're just going to jump the C2 and C3, C3 and uh, just have a look at how they appear. Alright, just mapping in the C3 now. You can see I've jumped into it, I've scanned a few of the figs out. But what I wanted to show you was that you can actually just copy and paste as you go. You don't need to copy and paste once you've finished everything, you can just keep on pasting. So there we go, we've got more results. Just going to pop those in, go to another data site and you can just keep doing that. As more wormholes pop up, it'll just keep giving you these blank pre-made wormholes and you can start warping to them and filling them in whenever you like. I'll be back with you once this is scanned out. Alright, uh, here we are again. I've scanned out the, uh, the C3 now and you can see we've got a low sec, a high sec and a frig hole C4 denoted by that green line you see. Now something to notice here is that the high sec is actually a K1622 despite it being the only K162. That is related to how Tripwire maps out its chain class format. It's, I want to say it's a bug, but it's not really too much of a bug. Uh, the way around it is you always just bookmark according to Tripwire. So if you have a look in the game here, you'll see a bookmark here as a 2 out high set K1622. Even though we know it's the only K1622, Tripwire said it's a K1622, so I'm putting it as a K1622. And that just helps you keep it, you know, uniform between your mapper and your in-game bookmarks. You don't want to run into a system where someone's saying, hey, take the K1622, and you're just thinking K162. That's easily going to be, you know, worked out, but... It could be quite difficult in the heat of the moment, especially if there's multiple holes. There's not too much else to show you to be honest though. Um, I will just jump back into Tripwire here and I'll show you one last thing, which is just if you were to do another search. Let's do a search for Dodixie in this case, for example. Hit enter and you can just see how it actually just show you from every hole that's how your exit finder works essentially and again if I was to select GID we can see the distance to GID from every other hole in the chain obviously GID to GID being zero jump so that's what it shows us there but uh, yeah there we go that's how you map with tripwire and just once more if we want to jump this C1 C4 even Again, we can just go in here, we can do our bookmark straight away, that's going to be an asterisk 2i. We can paste our six into tripwire. Well, sorry, first off we're going to actually just have to double click on the sig itself. Fill it in as what it is, that's j141633. Auto mapping works when ESI works, but right now it's just being a bit funky. But there we go, let's click on that. Pop our six in, and away we go. And that's how you map with Tripwire. It should be pretty simple for most of you guys. It's something I quite like doing, but uh, let me know if you have any questions.